Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Hiller. We begin tonight with a heavier police presence near the Bloomsburg Fair. An investigation is underway after shots were fired late Friday night just a block from the fairgrounds. 2822's Gianna Gali is just back from the fair tonight and joins us now in studio. Gianna, what can you tell us? Well, Mark, good evening. Police say it happened last night just after 1030 as the fair was shutting down. More than 50,000 people attended the fair on Friday and among those there tonight with the crowd were police patrols. A larger police presence surrounded the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds on the fair's final day Saturday, just 24 hours after shots were fired a block away. Police say it happened along the 400 block of 3rd Street. The shooter was last seen running into the fairgrounds. It's usually a really quiet town. It is. Not much happens. It's how things have gone with today's day and age. Um, last night's incident was a little disturbing. Barbara Neff was inside a home near the shooting scene Friday night when law enforcement stormed her neighborhood. The police were present immediately and then as I was trying to get out of the area because of everything that was going on, I see more police just immediately here out and about looking, trying to calm everybody down. Police say the gunfire is believed to be an isolated incident with no current threat to the community, but that did not stop their patrols, which relieved many residents who live on the busy street right behind the Midway. The police presence comes as hundreds make their way in and out of these streets to park. They say it helps them feel safer knowing someone is on guard. I really don't think we have any additional things to worry about at this time. And for Neff, that includes what this fair will always mean to this community. It doesn't really make bad stuff for the week. It's just, it's added, but for everything the fair brings, one or two bad apples, you're going to have them. The shooter was seen wearing a black headed sweatshirt with white lettering or design on the front and red pants. This investigation is ongoing and 2822 News will continue to bring you the latest developments as they are made available both on air and online. In studio, Gianna Gali, 2822 News. Mark. All right, Gianna and elsewhere.